Hey everybody, it's your girl Coco Kitten Bruja here and I am back with another deck review. Um, I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. This one's gonna be kind of short. Um, this is the Isis Oracle by Alana Fairchild and at the time that I was heavily into decks um, revolving around um, goddesses, I picked up a lot. Um, and this was one of them and I was like, Isis, yes, bring it. I, I need the, the energy of Isis. And when I received this deck, I'm a, I, I, here's what it is. I don't believe in returning things sometimes. <laughs> um, I should have returned this book. I mean, this deck, excuse me, after I opened it, but I didn't. I thought maybe later down the line I could use it. And here we are months later and I'm like, nah, I'm good. Um, structurally and and con constructual the con whatever how the, the deck is made perfectly fine it is the images that i have an issue with um yeah let's just get into it two part box nothing wrong there nice size guy i mean a thick guidebook but then again alana fairchild is a little long-winded sometimes um, which there's nothing wrong with it. If the message is there, the message is there. But her books tend to be a little bit on the thicker side. I'm not even going to show you guys the book. I'm going to show you the images first. Because <laughs> this is one of the main cards I had an issue with. I'm going to pull it over here so you guys can see it away from the light. Because these are really glossy cards. The phenotype of Isis is a little off for me. Um, I feel like these cards are very whitewashed, but this particular card, you have this person of color with her. I, I have an issue with this deck. Now, I try to keep, no, I don't try to keep my personal feelings out of my deck reviews. That's why they're my deck reviews. But this deck feels very controversial for me because I don't agree with the images. I can't connect to these images images in this particular one did not sit well with me um and it's you know the power over seven scorpions the power to conjure lower vibrational forces I don't like the energy from this card that's just me I'm sure there are people with this deck who can create and 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 receive all of the different messages that you know their hearts desire with this particular deck me not so much and I'm going to just keep going through the images. I don't, I just don't connect to the imagery. Now the non-human photos, the non-human cards, they're fine. You know, it's just, it is what it is, you know, but I'm not, nope, 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 nope. I, I get nothing. I get nothing from these images. If you guys feel differently, by all means, please leave comments. If you if, if you agree with me, leave comments, please. I would love to know how you guys feel. But I'm going to tell you right now, if anybody hops in my comments with foolishness, that's exactly what you're going to get. So tread lightly when it comes to uh my comments we all take imagery differently and these cards just don't yeah nah right no i can't connect to these but you guys let me know how you feel i'll go ahead and show you the guidebook because this is a full deck review. Even if I don't like the deck, I'm still going to show you guys every part of the card. Like I said, it is a very glossy card. And it picks up on things. Um, standard size for an Oracle card. They shuffle just fine. Again, the guidebook is lengthy. Very, very lengthy. Um, you're going to get the breakdown of each card. Um, you're going to get your introduction, your typical introduction, explaining the cards, how to use the cards, different spreads, all of that jazz, right? Now, when you go into the actual breakdown of the card, 
there's like a precursor to the card and then there's like a story wrapped up in the message with the breakdown and it is it is lengthy it is very lengthy um font is a little small i'm wearing my glasses so i can i can pretty much read it but if i didn't have glasses on this would be a bit of a struggle for me um because there's a lot to get through there is a ritual that goes with it um and then there's an incantation the i just wish that the imagery wasn't the imagery because i love every bit of what goes into the breakdown of the card but I can't connect to them because of the imagery I just it, it don't sit well with me but yeah that's for each one and it is it's a lot but it's also pretty cool um so like I said that's that's really all I have I don't have much um I can't give you guys an experience on how I use these cards because I didn't use them. I'm not going to use them. Um, I can't give you, you know, of course, all Oracle decks are going to be all skill levels, but I can't, I can't give you much more to my experience because I, I honestly just refuse to use these cards. Um, so definitely let me know in the comments how you guys feel. Um, if you have this deck, how you connect to the cards. Um, just so you guys know that my deck reviews are always going to be completely honest. I don't get paid for these. Um, I am just a collector and I love being able to help other people make the choices when it comes to um, picking a deck because I should have looked these up beforehand and I didn't. So that's why I'm here to give you guys insight on these decks so you don't make the mistakes that I made. <laughs> but hit that like, hit that subscribe, share this if you feel inclined to. Um, and I am offering private video readings for anybody who would like one. Just go ahead and DM me on all across all social media at Coco and Bruja and we can get you set up with your own private Ed Snatch. Um, that's all I have, guys. Um, wishing you tons of love and light and until next time, peace.